Hello, pirate friends, friends of pirate, <laughs> friends of Komodo. It's E. Giuliano. Even enemies, welcome everyone from far and wide, friends of price charts. Come on in and take a look at what we have to think here. Friends of crypto, just take a look here what, what we have to think about. Ooh, what's going on here? Hmm, this is get Aurox. I'm in the light mode. I'm gonna you move into this chart. But before we do that, I wanna address a couple things, okay? So this is a weekend video. Chill out, enjoy. Hope it to be entertaining. Hope it to be educational, learn something. Okay, look at these nice colors. It's beautiful. Just be entertained, enjoy. Life is good. You're breathing, you're eating well. You're making the best decisions you can for yourself to stay wealthy and increase your wealth and stay healthy, <clears throat> build your, your wisdom. All right. Well, refine your wisdom, whatever we want to call it. Okay. And particularly here, we're here for price charts. We're here for price charts and for pirate chain and all of that good stuff, Komodo ecosystem, because that's all going to come into play here. And BTC and crypto and the world. Indeed, that is the case. <clears throat> Overall, things are good. Look at all these these sharp pins of of <clears throat> buying support. We're liking it. There is good strength here. Good for you, pirates. Good for you. Yeah, pirates come in all shapes and sizes, all types of denominations, and just justice is justice. And we're all moving forward with the same idea in mind which is <clears throat> onwards and upwards privacy freedom peer-to-peer -peer. here we go right right on and adventure sailing these choppy seas and sometimes smooth seas just the seas in general they have their character at different times and what do we have here let's okay so the question was here here's a hundred dollars and the question was actually in the previous video <clears throat> By the way, thanks for liking the videos and commenting on the videos and all that good stuff. Okay, keep doing that. And if you're watching in 1.5x speed or 1.75x speed, yo, I hope you can uh, keep enjoying it. And if you need to rewind it at any point, go for it. What we're talking about here is, oh, will Pirate hit the $100? Because <clears throat> even there was talk of $50. And now we're just going to talk about dollars, BTC, and Pirate. <clears throat> and we're going to try and tie that whole theme together into a coherence the media is the message we're first checking out coin gecko for coin gecko here we're looking at pirate chain okay so a hundred dollars we have to think now about a hundred dollars we have to think about usd realize that usd and btc charts and uh, they they sometimes they correlate sometimes they couple and sometimes they decouple and they're not correlated they're inversely correlated let's say okay so now what are we thinking here we're thinking okay a roughly five dollars price okay regardless of this th these price feeds i don't know what's exactly going on check this specific exchange for yourself depending on what you're doing but and none of this is financial advice eh? five dollars fully diluted whoop fully diluted 200 million supply is roughly <clears throat> 1 billion market cap. So $5, 200 million supply, 1 billion market cap. We're sitting right now at a billion market cap. Looks like we're pretty flat there, pretty good. In terms of this overall uh, market cycle, I don't think I don't think below 1 billion is something that we're gonna settle for for a long term. We've shown that we're capable of handling a billion is as pirate chain are in terms of dollars. It also depends what BTC is gonna do. And it also depends, yeah, what else is happening. Okay, so now we start thinking about things like life cycle. Here is generally the life cycle chart of pirate chain. Okay. Right now you can see this nice huge impulse and we're coupled. Okay. Back here, we were coupled, but you could see the disparity and that's fine. These are just, they're different numbers. They're, they have to be, they're different scales. The point being is what's end up happening is sometimes they're going to decouple and go the opposite directions. 
Okay, fine. Now, the other thing I want to think about is, yes, this might be part of the larger cycle. Yes, yes, could be. Interesting how this move here, it takes such a short time frame, and then the flattening and reaccumulation takes such a long time frame. Interesting. Here we're in a different kind of impulse, though. This is just a different scale, a different situation. So I also want to think about adoption. This is not just some pump and dump action of, or even just some crypto that's just going to be a crypto. This is going, this is, has big implications in the peer to peer atomic swap technology situation. And of course, because of its privacy freedom implications already, even without the, the, the swapping already, it's, it's just a very simple, pure and then project wise is just a lot building around it so this is good and it's part of a, a, a bigger stronger more in-depth ecosystem with the whole komodo platform okay <clears throat> now in fact i mean you could already play with it on crypto collider that's pretty awesome check that out all right now that's a billion market cap at five dollars so let's say we double that that's ten dollars and that's a $2 billion market cap, okay? $10 is $2 billion market cap. Therefore, $100 would be 20 billion market cap. $50 would be $10 billion market cap. Now, it also depends how are you calculating market caps and all that, but we're gonna use the sites that people look at because that is also part of the psychology of these markets. We're, you know, generally here, this is part of the analysis because what it gives us is numbers and time frames, but also numbers matter and they are part of the technicals. If you were to see all of the price data, not in a graphical chart form, but in just the numbers of it, if you had the skills, you might be able to see the patterns mentally, mathematically, and whatever you'll see to whatever degree. And that will be enough to possibly make good decisions. Now, we get the benefit of all of these graphical technologies. And so we don't even have to draw them by hand. Where are we now? Okay, let's first talk market cap overall. Market cap overall, 2.5 trillion. Where are we going now? Does that mean we're going to 5 trillion? That would be a double for everything. So let's imagine double Bitcoin, double everything else. That's 5 trillion market cap. 10 trillion would be some other combination. 10 trillion is possible. Seven, seven and a half trillion possible. Seven, eight trillion possible. Anything's possible. Who knows? That's going to be part of the next part, which is like the dollar. What is what's what is it, and what's it worth? No. Okay. Even I have to slow down. I get very excited by all of this. Life is good overall, as best as we can make it for ourselves. We develop the skills we can. And we move that shit forward. Now, we're nearing this 60,000 level. You know, things are just very interesting happening. Dogecoin, oh, it's the Elon Musk day. We're at like, you know, people are really trying to, you know, they, you know, 69 was achieved, forget it. Okay, wow. Um, and that's out, of, that's out of 87 billion. And you know what, fair. I'm All is fair in love and crypto. In which case, now our mean use cases and this, that, and the other, you know, security wise, delayed proof of work versus 51% attacks, 16 billion market caps, you know, that kind of stuff. And like really use cases like, you know, good for transferring USDT versus, you know, storing stuff versus amazing P2P interactivity on the level of let's say Monero. And that's where you get a lot of the <clears throat> $50 claim because that'll bring us around the 10 billion cap, which is okay, let's say that's the range. All right, depending on how we're calculating our, our, our things. Um, and so that's that kind of idea. So here's the $50 level is like top 25, let's say, okay. Top 25 is the $50 level and okay. Potential, yes. And especially if, if prices of everything goes up, then $50 level isn't even the top 25 anymore. It, 50, 10 billion might be the what the 5 billion used to be in terms of this relativity. So 
what I'm trying to say here is now, right now, we're down here at the 1 billion 99th position here, okay, generally, roughly 1.2 billion. So then to, we said um, $10 would be double. Sorry for the up and down scrolling. I don't mean to hurt your eyes. So here is the 2 billion region. Okay, so what, Psycon, Psycoin? <laughs> Sorry for that uh, uh, Freudian slipperoni. Here's the ontology and the graph. I hear a lot of near. I hear these names a lot too, right? I do, Decentraland and all that. Okay, DGB. All righty then. BAT, FTM. Okay, fine. BTG. All right. A hash graph. You know, there's a... Okay, we're not going to keep doing that, but you get the idea. We're still in the two billions, but we're moving towards now. Uh, let's say... Oh, here's our friends Zcash. We were here. You know, we've been up here. Okay, fine. So, is it possible twenty five dollar would be roughly then about the five billion level? Twenty five dollar, and we'd be at let's say Avalanche Crypto dot com, Polygon, Holy Token level maker. Okay, I mean, I yeah, sure. None of this makes sense anyway. None of these numbers make sense. None of it is making sense. It's not meant to make sense. It, none of it is actually real, but it is real. And so you got to walk that thin line of the, <laughs> the reality and the unreal, the matrix and the non-matrix. You know what I'm saying? Crypto matrix. Okay, so that's the idea. All right. Yeah, I don't think. And then what were we saying? 20 billion, right? 20 billion, let's say top, top 20 top 15 okay top 20 top 15 uh would be the hundred dollar level okay bang well there you go that's something to think about now the oh the other thing i wanted to think about was something like this a bnb which had early in its <clears throat> life cycle maybe you're listening to this 1.5 1.75 x speed it's going fast 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 maybe not maybe it's real slow Maybe I'm going too fast and I should slow down. Let's take that max chart. This is the BNB. Now here's an example of, I wish that price thing wouldn't. If we look here roughly, okay, the, the relationships, they're somewhat correlated like yes, dollar down, dollar up, it's in blue and BTC down, BTC up, it's in, it's in orange. But look at the difference in, in in slope, right? Yes, I think so. And same thing here, for example, here it's going up and here, yeah, fine, it's going up, but uh, like really it's sideways, you know, give me a break compare in the dollars compared to the, the Bitcoin in which there's more volatility that way. Now, are these waves even, like what are these? Now in terms of this, in terms of, because overall you're gonna have this cycle, we're just getting started in all of these, price markets. So the maps that we're charting right now, imagine like the world before we had maps of the world. That's going to be a big part of this is we, we don't even have the maps for these things yet, really. So here's, and don't forget, we're doing BNB here, but this is about our, but this is about really about price and money and learning and growing. And here's some growing here is an impulse up. Okay. So this impulse up, Similar things, let's say, for example, happened here in the BTC. Okay, an impulse up there. And then another similar one was back here in the uh, end of 2017, beginning of 2018, just like everybody else. And the BTC pumped up. Okay, But then it, this one kept going up while everything else went down. Like it went down with everything else. Okay, But then it went up. It had in BTC, it had its own bull market. It had a higher high, but like one higher high and then another higher high by the time we hit the uh, June of of 2018 <clears throat> by the time we hit uh you know april may june of 2019 we were at an even more higher high then of course it came even back all the way down so to say that we won't be back down to the levels we are now even if we go massive up levels is nothing we definitely could be because who knows but in terms of this impulse notice now that we're at, working at different scales now we're at a different scale here now we can start to see what is actually being developed and only over time are we going to be able to, let's say, combine these waves of activity and really understand their relationships. Because maybe overall, in a in a bigger uh, in a bigger macro 
wave, th this will be, mm, you know, more understandable. But at this current point, maybe they need to be separated. And the same thing goes with the fire chain. I think that right now the impulse that it's in might need to be taken on its own. Another option is that the USD chart and the BTC chart, they, they might be doing different types of waves. In fact, the BTC chart just it behaves differently anyway. So that's the question is when is the RBTC and RUSDT going to decouple? Right now they're coupled, but they there will be a decoupling at some point. Okay? And I think um, that's one thing that I'm curious about. Okay, so those are some ideas. And yeah, so like adoption, right? BNB was about adoption. It was being used in a different way than other things. It had a different story to it. And Pirate Chain, you know what, going into this, it has this really big potential to have different use, a different story to it in that sense, in the sense that even during a bear market, it could be still um, having a different relationship, let's say to Bitcoin, in which case then, it, you know, price wise, in which case then it's dollar difference and everything, it'll just be different. It's it can be not just following the main shitcoin activity as the saying goes, okay, all the altcoins, but it's still, everything does still behave differently than Bitcoin. In, a, in, the, in the big downtrend, in the big bear market downtrend, of course, Bitcoin behaves one way compared to everything else. They both, let's say, go down, but everything else just tanks so hard even compared to BTC. Okay, okay that's another story. Now, closing this up, I hope that made sense. Here, we're talking a bit about colors, enjoying the colors, nice colors here, nice support here on a daily level, a lot of good buying support. Um, in terms of these trend lines, I'm gonna show some channeling in the next chart, but this will make sense too. And in the USD chart, actually, Yes, I do think that this previous wave here and this current wave here could be connected and combined into something bigger. And therefore I'm still holding that as the main possibility, but there is a chance that maybe this previous stuff is irrelevant to this current type of, um, this current type of wave activity and market activity, right? It might have taken on a new life and a new form of situation okay where all the previous stuff right now might not really make sense with what's happening currently although in the usd it might still work so we're going to watch it and see if it does play out and part of it will be these trend lines and see if they correlate in a way which makes sense and so far actually i think they do and i'm going to see i'm going to see if we can use them to help us consider whether or not we'll make it up to this hundred dollars level not so sure about the hundred 50 definitely seems reasonable overall. If we are thinking that this current move is a third wave in an overall big macro wave, let's say, of let's consider it like a one up move, two down move, three up move. But we don't know where four down move is going to end. And then five up move, I 100 is real big. Uh, we don't know where everything else is going either. So here's the 50, which you know what? logarithmically, proportionally, is not that much farther away from 100 at that point. Because considering that we're at five right now, that'd still be a 10X, okay? The 100 would just make it a 20X. All right. Okay, so that's the dollar idea. So the question that was asked in the comments was, could it go to $100? Could it go to $100? And the answer, the short answer is yes, but also the question is when? What type of time frame are we talking about? Look at this line. This line could make it to hundred dollars by like 2020 something. Let's imagine. Let's just imagine it keeps going. Boom. So we're talking 2020. What? Oof, this is only a four a day chart. So here's more time. Yeah, like a year is this much. So yeah, definitely even within 2022, hundred dollars if we're like moving up in those kinds of ways. So now is that the sustainable level though? Is it gonna touch hundred and come back down to six? <laughs> and then ride that out for a while, like we saw with the other stuff for, you know, a year to two years to who knows. We don't know what's going to happen, really. But uh, yeah, the more I look at it now, you know, it does really feel like we're hoping that this is part of, let's say, a three and two or five it just would help us to understand this better. But if it's not, then it's not. And that's okay, too. In terms of the BTC, that will be a different story. I'm going to show us now in the grid mode. 
we're going to see here the USD chart. We're going to also see here BTC chart. We've got, oh, we didn't ask our BTC questions, though. Goodness gracious, there were some key BTC questions that we had here. Oh, well. Um, so we're going to start with the USD, OK? So here are, again, those, those channels and those lines that I was talking about. OK, so here, let's think about something here. Whoa, yo, yo. What I really like about all of this, everything, there are many things combining that are going on that are making more and more people think and ask questions like this and talk about these types of things. So what is USD anyway? What is money? What's USD and what's the history of USD? Uh, what will 100 USD be worth? In a deflationary scenario, inflationary scenario, like what is the USD scenario on a macro scale. So the what is USD, what's its history is interesting. Even just the inflation and deflation idea is interesting. We've learned a lot from the friends of the friends of another. For example, from the debtors and the savers. It's a very interesting one. If you haven't read it, be my guest. Do go ahead. From back in the days, I guess that's a, like an older one there. Imagining uh, the sustainable levels, like 100,000 BTC, is that the sustainable level or is that just the peak? And then our sustainable level is something more along the 40 to 50,000 level, 50, 60,000 level. I don't know. Okay. And also, maybe it's 100,000 is just the next peak, but that's not the final peak. Maybe there's higher peaks above the 100,000 in this overall market cycle. Because right now, we don't understand the scale of what's happening. I don't, we don't really know, but here, if if this is a one and two wave back here, then this three and four wave will help us to understand the scale of what's happening. That does actually help us to understand the scale of what's happening better. And we can imagine that a bit more now. Okay. So let us imagine that the BTC at 100,000 is the sustainable level. Then something like Pirate, against Bitcoin, for Pirate to be $10, it would just stay where it is. And it would keep a $2 billion market cap. Because really, Bitcoin would basically double 100, 120K. And Pirate would be around the where it is, 10,000 Satoshis, be $10, about $2 billion market cap. So we 10x that. We get $100 R, which was the question there. And here is it, it is, is we're at actually, if, um, if, Bitcoin is at the 100,000 level, the uh, sustainable, and Pirate would have to be at the uh, 100,000 Satoshi level sustainable for a 20 billion market cap of $100. So $50 would be 0 0.0005. So 50,000 Satoshi level at a 10 billion market cap. And that's what we, we basically see, right? So question is, uh, yeah, what's the overall market cap going to be or going towards, are we at 5 trillion? Or are we at 10 trillion? Like, what is the story here? What is happening? And what are our, what's sustainable at this point? Now, if we're pricing it in USD, how long does this last? What, what, what is really happening here? How, how long is it going to last? I, I personally, I do think USD is not going anywhere in, I mean, in its current form, yeah, there definitely could be a lot of changes that are important. But in terms of just the fiat USD uh, regime, that is still there. It will be another altcoin, just like all the other altcoins in that sense, I do believe. But that's later. So for now, obviously, in these next, let's say, five years, let's talk the next five years, definitely we're, we're, we're looking USD. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this right now for now. I hope that that's been helpful to think about so far. So 10,000 Satoshis at, uh, is, is, is not bad. If we can hang around these is in the Bitcoin chart, if we can just stay flat, that, that's great. That's great. Uh, uh, you know, even if that, anyway, and then in the dollar chart, that would actually bring us back up. Well, it would only bring us up halfway anyway. And so, yeah, these are definitely re reasonable things. All right, roughly. Okay. All right. So that's that for now. Now, channels. Let's talk about channels for a second. So here, the only way that I'm going to start to think that these are connected is if these channels can come into play with each other. So again, this channel can last us 
even just till July. So if we're working with this channel here, even to, to August, July, August, uh, could be coming into play. So our, our, our wait for correction could even be going, let's say, towards July, August, or let's find out. Or we won't know, you know, we'll see what, what's happening by then. It'll be interesting to note. Other than that, I've done the same channel. So what this, what this channeling is about is about going from the bottom of the wave to the top of the wave of the impulse, and then also connecting the two bottoms, so the two lows, and making a trend line, and then having a parallel trend line above at the high. So this high here, com compared with this low and this low of the move, and that gives us uh, a parallel channel, and that gives us information because once it breaks out of that channel, it says, oh, now we're in a new impulse and we're in a new wave. Because the theory is basically that if you're still in a channel, then you're kind of just correcting. Uh, and now we can draw all kinds of trending channels and ultimately we might find that everything is in one massive trend. And I mean, that makes sense, I guess, of course. But uh, here we're talking a bit more short-term trends. Okay, so that'll also tell us now if we've done the same thing here where we had the low and the, the low, I did it on the four hour chart here. So we took basically the low and the low this high. So that created roughly a parallel channel. And so we're nearing it. One thing I noticed yesterday is after that strength video, the strength that we showed here, nice upward movement, we bought ourselves some time, but we did come right back down. However, there is a kind of upward sense here, a triangular sense here. We'll see where we're going now. It's kind of um, interesting to watch over time, how it develops, but we are clearly coming towards this channeling, which as we said before, ranges from back here, which is, the beginning of the overall current impulse move that we're in. Okay, so that'll be interesting. Then the next channel that we'll take actually is to take this here with the next, like wherever the, the, the end of, of this down move is, we'll connect that and then we'll make create a parallel line with, with, with that line with this highest third peak here and see, and that'll help us to consider where is the fifth wave gonna be. And that is why at this point, I'm considering this previous move to be part of it, but I'm still skeptical. I'm about 50-50 at this point, to be honest, I'm 50-50. I'm, I'm I really am, I'm 50-50, uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm no expert here. Uh, when we'll find out all of these things are related anyway in one form or fashion. So that's the other thing is lines can find the relationships. If you draw enough lines and you do enough things, we can find all kinds of relationships. So we want to find effective relationships. That's what we want to find. Okay, good, healthy, effective relationships in the chart <laughs> and and in our, our, especially in our own personal lives. All right. Okay. Now we're going to move to BTC chart in a moment here. Just, I want to also bring up the idea that if we do come to a higher level, let's see what that might be. Okay. So if we're going to extend Okay, we're gonna extend, we're gonna take Fibonacci. I'm gonna show you how the Fibonacci in, if you take Fibonacci extension here, like where it's called trend-based Fib extension. Okay, you would start from the bottom of the move, roughly here, for example. You'd go to the top of the move, or you know, we can go right to the top of the price uh, point, but we'll go to roughly the bodies or whatever right about there. And then you would come down to the uh, retracement, wherever that is. So it's roughly around here. Cool. Okay, so I mean, that's just rough. And then it'll give you the potential for if we're, we're when we're going higher compared to these moves, like relatively speaking, where might we be going? And so that could give us here's our $25 level, which is roughly the 1618. Okay, so $40 is 2618 roughly and then 3618 is 56. So definitely in play. Overall, definitely in play, I would say. Getting to 100 is more difficult, more difficult. And I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not counting on 100, at least in this current move. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think things are looking good overall, actually, when we look at it in that way, don't you think? Let's find out how long it takes to correct overall this movement here and find a new impulse. This is USD, so it could come sooner than later. We shall see. Also, it depends what's happening with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes straight, then, well, we can look at it on the other chart, but there's a potential Bitcoin going straight sideways, you know, with like the ups and downs of the sideways channeling. And then, you know, even if it's like an upward sideways with a, a slight incline to the upward trending angle. However, it could also just go boom, impulse up. And, and that I think the, the downward impulse is the is the least likely in this scenario. Okay. So here we are. Yeah, we're looking at that. All right. And let's find out where we're going to be ending this, let's say wave four, if we're talking about waves. Cool. Um, I just wanted to show you that if we were to take the other version of the, just the regular Fibonacci tool here, and we were to take again from the similar region and just go to our retracement. So from the top to the bottom, we get the similar idea. Okay. Uh, it's roughly, roughly the same. Okay, so I'll show you, we'll just correlate that. All right, just for, for an idea here. So we're going roughly to the bottom of this move. And we are going to roughly the top of this move. Where did we go? We'll take the same line. So it's this one, uh, one line and then go down to the zero line, which is roughly here. There you go. And yeah, it's uh, slightly different, but similar. Okay. So use the one that makes sense to you, but wherever they correlate the most usually will be, well, retracements is more for short term kind of movements. Um, for trending movements, I guess you're going to use the trend based for the extension. Uh, you could do a bit more research into those to see which one seems to work, but we can keep an eye on it regardless and we'll see for this move. Okay, that's the beauty of watching this over time. You get to check it out, right? Okay, I'm not going to take too much more time with the dollar chart. Good things ahead. Good things ahead. Let's close that one. Let's look at this one, BTC chart. Yes. So this is why this is more like the way the BTC charts move is weird. Not weird. I shouldn't see even that weird. It's like this. Doesn't this feel like a Doge chart right now? Are you looking at Doge or Pirate Chain? Because look, it has these like impulses up and then it corrects forever. Impulse up, corrects forever. Impulse up, correct forever. What is this? An impulse up, correct forever? Ugh. I mean, let's hope that if, if that's the case now, here's the deal. This is dull. If this gets dull, because remember this is a Bitcoin chart, we could still be going to up and up and up and up and up in dollars. If we're doing one of these, oh, that's into 2022. Hoy, hoy, hoy. Let's say we're doing one of these. Okay, let's say we're never coming back to a thousand though. Let's be fair. Let's say even 3,000. Okay, let's say 3,000, 5,000, 3,000, pick a number, any number, even let's say we come to previous tops, okay, as fairness though, 1,500, okay, whatever. Let's say we eventually do, and let's say we give it a lot of time, like, boom. Let's imagine, I mean, and in between here, who knows what's happening? Maybe we're, maybe we're painting all kinds of, of like, you know, You see what I'm saying? Okay, who knows? I don't know. I don't know, don't know, but this could be happening. It might be a bit more smooth. Okay, it might be much more smooth, but you see what I'm saying? It could be higher than it is today, but at some point, whatever, when we're going like this, but meanwhile, the dollar price, maybe the dollar price is going up. Maybe the dollar price is going up because Bitcoin price is going up. So Bitcoin price going up, Bitcoin price going up, dollar price going up, okay? If even if, and, and, but that would mean, let's say, um, depending how hard Bitcoin price is going up, the Bitcoin price, so for example, our BTC will be going sideways and our USDT will be going up, then Bitcoin USD is going up and the Bitcoin R is going sideways. And it even could be going down, depending on the rate of Bitcoin's impulse up, what kind of moves it is making up. That'll determine 
the R uh, Bitcoin chart. Okay. And the R Bitcoin chart, if it stays sideways, will determine the, the, the slant of the R USD chart. If the R Bitcoin chart is slanted down, okay. Now I see this is a long term, so I, you know, whatever. Now we're just talking conceptually. We don't know how well this will match. If the R USD is, um, yeah. So if the R BTC is slanting down, right? Uh, the R USD chart, the slant might be more down. If the R USD is like ripping, and the BTC chart is also ripping, uh, with R. Uh, and the BTC USD chart is ripping. You know, they all three could be going up, right? They, just like they are now where they're all correlated together, uh, where they're coupled together. But um, yeah, at some point we're wondering, that's one of the curiosities, where, where will things decouple and in what direction will they go? And uh, also curious, how will they get there? What, what will be their, their path? Um, yeah, so let's see. Hopefully we're not taking too much of a chilly voyage in the Arctic the crypto winter me laddies all right yeah Whew, don't scare me i'm kidding okay now the question is also <laughs> is this impulse then part of a bigger impulse are we going to go higher than we are now or are we is this the height that we've made for this cycle and now we're just going to chop and then find our way to flatten out somewhere Maybe Pirate is going to have a different life, a life story here, a different charting adventure than other cryptos. It's still very early, so early for the life of Pirate, really. Like th this is a new situation compared to all. The yes, before this, before this big move, yes, all of these moves here, they mattered. They were big moves, but now they are of a different era. These are different waves. These are like the shores of the ocean. And now look at these big waves that we're in, in the ocean, okay? Now we are finally off for the voyage, okay? Yes. All right, well, that's, that's I guess, what I have to think about. The other thought that I had, the last thought I wanna share with you before we go. A daily chart is a decently sized chart, okay? To find patterns and things like that. One thing that I noticed is, yes, in crypto, Wow, the impulses are just so impulsive. And even the corrections are just impulsive down in the sense that, in the sense that, um, you know, just because of the impulsive, impulsive energy up, there's a similar strength down. However, we are getting a nice flattening here uh, in this particular chart. But I, I would like to say that because of that, it is showing that maybe new levels, even in the BTC price, are going to be achieved here. And in that case, what that would would mean is that now we have a new launch point. We really do. So let's see what type of maybe if this is over, like if we're done a, a full cycle, we will have to hang out here for a while. But one thing that was concerning one in a fun way is that this whole impulse here, it's so simple. There's barely any any compl uh, complexity. Literally, it is like a level if you were to do levels where level zero level zero is like this boom it's just like a single straight line and then level uh level one level one would be like you know you have oops let's actually use a, a brush sorry my friends let's use a different color though level one let's imagine as like a move up one move down, a move up, one move down, a move up, okay? That's a level two because it has within it, within it, it has some of these singular ones. It has one here, it has one here between these two points. It has one here, it has one here between these two points. It has one here. So now it's like, this is level zero on the orange one. And this is level one. This is like the the pinch one. So level one is, is pretty low still. We're still low. We're still low. This correction is showing us now that we're actually starting to make a more complex situation collectively with this move up and this move down. So let's hope that in fact, we are in a bigger cycle and we're going to be making even more complexity in which case, in which case this could be 
this could be just the first wave in the Bitcoin price. It's hard to say because this it could go either way. It could go either way. We don't know. This could just be itself. Oh, I'm pointing again. This could just be itself one macro cycle. But again, this is a daily chart. It's not even a weekly chart. And it's 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 not even that complex. So because it's not complex, I'm thinking, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Is it possible that we've just begun? We've just begun. And this is like one wave here and a second wave. And now we're looking for a third one. Maybe the third one's going to be very violent up and sharp down and for the fourth one. And the fifth one will be a weak, nothing wave, no good. Maybe the other question is, maybe a Bitcoin chart is not a, 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 a good measure of the Elliott psychology of wave impulses. But you know what? I don't know. I, I, I see all the same shapes. Look, I do see all the same shapes. They're there. I see them. Oh, exciting. Exciting to think like this. I hope that these thoughts are making you think for yourself, helping you to have ideas to bounce around. And yeah, just uh, interesting times ahead. Pirates, stick around. There's so much happening behind the scenes. There's a lot available in front of the scenes. This is even just, this is just a daily chart. The weekly chart, forget about it. The weekly chart is like, is, is nothing. There's no, this is, so this is what I'm saying on a weekly level, on a weekly level, that's what I'm saying. We have one of these on a weekly level. We have one of those, zero complexity, zero complexity. This is a very interesting situation. I do not know. Maybe our pirate in its simplicity is just a simple chart. Maybe we'll always be drawing simple charts. That's fine too. We don't know. Things to think about, folks. Things to think about. That's it for me. I'm done right now. I'm just too excited. I'm going to go dance around a little bit. I'm actually going to go for a walk. I'm walking around. I need to walk. I need to pump around some, some fluids. You know what I mean? Like just whew, get that lymphatic drainage, venous drainage, get everything moving around. Yes, good for the uh, for the, the the biology, the physiology, right? Yes. All right. Take care, everyone. Happy thinking. All right. Love, peace, happiness. All right. Bye for now. Take care. Let me know in the comments if this made sense. Yeah, like this video, share it. Take care, everyone. Peace.